police state. Poor girl. Most schools have no problem with 11-year-olds in sleeveless outfits, but in Billings, Montana, shoulders are apparently considered scandalous. One little girl learned this the hard way when she showed up for a picture day in a cute new sleeveless dress over black leggings and probably got policed for violating the dress code. Seems the ultra-conservative school board came up with the ridiculous policy of banning bare shoulders. The school even reportedly said the child's shoulders were distracting. Seriously? If a person gets offended by an 11-year-old's shoulders, they're the problem. The girl's family was so outraged by the asinine rule that both mom and grandma took to social media to rant. Miffed netizens soon began to chime in, criticizing the school and its dress code for sexualizing young girls. Ultimately, the school did allow the poor student to take her photo in the dress, but forced her to change into something more appropriate for the rest of the day. The girl has since been understandably upset, but the administration refuses to discuss the issue further, noting that since the child changed her clothes, the case is closed. Here are more stories about girls being policed for supposedly inappropriate outfits. Yet another teen gets suspended for wearing inappropriate dress. Another teenage girl has been suspended for wearing an inappropriate dress at school. Yvette Rie, a high school student at Westside High School in Dayton, Idaho, got in trouble because of a mint green dress that's just a few inches above the knees. During class, teacher LeGrand Levitt told Yvette that she had to go home to change. She refused because she thought there was nothing wrong with her dress. Levitt allegedly threatened to call the principal and said Yvette's graduation would be in jeopardy if she didn't change to another dress. Yvette promptly called her mother, who drove to school with another set of clothes. Upon arriving, the mother and daughter found out that Yvette had already been suspended. Yvette complained on Instagram, and the story went viral. Yvette told reporters that she understood she broke the rules, but she and her mother felt the school acted in a tyrannical way. According to the school handbook, temporary clothes may be offered to offending students, an option the school ignored. Despite Levitt's alleged threats, Yvette graduated anyway and even wore the dress again on her last day of school as a congratulatory gesture to herself. Well, Yvette, you earned it, girlfriend. But in the future, let's have just a little more respect for the rules, shall we? High school girls organized protest against unreasonable dress code. This week, a group of high school girls from McHenry East and West High Schools in McHenry, Illinois, are protesting via social media about yet another clothing restriction issue, this time about girls' sultry shoulders. Haley Everhart, one of the sophomores who started the protest, told NBC that if she wore a sundress, the administration would ask her to put on a jacket or leave class. Bearing one's shoulders is prohibited. Boys and girls who arrive at school dressed to make it through the hot weather are immediately shuffled off to detention and forced to cover up. Everhart and her supporters created a Facebook group to fight the problem. Their story even reached Seventeen Magazine and NBC Chicago. The group bashes the restrictive dress code, which exists to avoid distracting boys from their studies. Instead, schools should be teaching boys not to sexualize girls. The group also told NBC that, not being able to show our shoulders and being called distractions is directly influencing rape culture and sexualizing our bodies without our consent. The group claimed they are not encouraging girls to bear it all. They simply want the dress code to be reasonable and to eliminate shaming when it comes to clothing choices. A peaceful protest was arranged to take place today, but was canceled due to technicalities. An Instagram page, Show Your Shoulders, was created to further the group's efforts. Girls as well as boys are invited to share pictures of clothes that got them into trouble. Florida teens stripped of honors for wearing sundress. A 17-year-old Florida high school student was stripped of her honors after she wore a sundress while delivering her victory speech. Fort Myers High School junior Cameron Boland was voted in as historian of her school's chapter of the National Honor Society. She wore a dress with spaghetti straps to give her speech at Ida Baker High School, which is against the school's dress code, and that applied to her even though she doesn't go to the school. Cameron's bare shoulders apparently offended students at the school who complained to NHS advisors about her outfit. The school then disqualified Cameron from her post. Cameron's mother said her daughter's outfit was not an act of defiance, but was an effort to look presentable. She plans to appeal her daughter's case at the school board meeting. This marks the latest in a string of incidents that have seen students punished for violating school dress codes. An 18-year-old Texas high school student was sent home to change last month when she wore leggings to class, while Idaho high school senior student Yvette Rie was sent home to change after wearing this dress. So do you think Cameron's dress is too risque and that she should have been stripped of her honors? Teens jailed for 48 hours over wearing saggy pants to school. A couple of Boulevard, Tennessee high school students spent two days in jail last weekend after wearing pants several sizes too big for their hips to school. 
This particular sentence arose from an incident in early November when four students at Bolivar Central High School were charged for indecent exposure. Apparently, school officials have reprimanded these students several times already for the exact same offense. But it's still unclear how a mere school violation made by four students somehow resulted in two of them spending 48 hours in Hardeman County Jail. According to this handbook, the students were in violation of the school's dress code policy, which forbids low-slung, baggy-seat, baggy-legged pants, as well as bell-bottom. Local Tennessee news station WREG reports that most people they talk to in the community believe there are probably better ways to teach these boys a lesson about wearing clothes that fit. Student kicked out of college gym for bearing her midriff. Welcome to the George Street Fitness Center at the College of Charleston, which, going by their dress policy, is located somewhere near the Spanish Inquisition. Apparently, if you're caught wearing anything that exposes skin, you'll be promptly asked to leave the premises. That's something student Sarah Villafane found out the hard way. In a viral Facebook post, <laughs> Villafane claimed she was asked to leave the gym for wearing this perfectly functional workout top. In their defense, the college says people are required to exercise in a full shirt and athletic attire to protect from infectious skin diseases. Villafane said on Facebook that the gym later told her she'd been asked to leave because of sanitary concerns. But Villafane reckons there's a double standard at the school gym. She says other women have been spotted wearing similar gear, and dudes have even been seen in midriff exposing muscle tees and exercising in jeans.